this shit up, Quay. All right, y'all, it's here. The White Coat Movie. <laughs> Before we start the White Coat Movie and the D2 recap, if you're new to the channel, my name is Eli, and I'm a third-year dental student at Boston University Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make dental school vlogs as well as videos with advice for pre-dental students. So if that's something you might enjoy, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment under the video, and share the channel with anyone else that might find it interesting. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I most recently finished up my D2 year. At the end of my D2 year, I did a series called Waiting for My White Coat, which was weekly vlog episodes leading up to my white coat ceremony, which was on July 7th. At my school, the white coat represents your transition from your preclinical courses into the clinic. So as I start the third year of dental school, I'll start seeing patients at the clinic at my school and the white coat allows me to officially be recognized as, to, as a student doctor or student provider. So I decided to do the White Coat movie as my big finale for the White Coat series. I noticed that the channel grew a lot during the White Coat series. I mean, we probably amassed over those few months over 500 subscribers. So there's a lot of new people, mostly that didn't see my channel from the beginning as well as from the beginning of my D2 year. So I figured let's do a little D2 recap before we get into the White Coat weekend stuff. And if you are new to the channel, I'll give you a great reason to subscribe by the time you're done watching this video. As you may or may not be able to tell, this White Coat movie is more so of a documentary style, mainly because during White Coat weekend, I was filming a lot of clips but not really vlogging. Y'all understand, I kind of got lost in the sauce. A lot of my friends were here and I really didn't have time to walk around and vlog. So don't worry, the content is coming, but let's go through the whole year and stuff before we get to the grand finale. So at the beginning of the school year, I was very excited for school and what I was gonna do on my channel during the upcoming school year. I wanted to do some new things and I had some new ideas going into the school year. So I wanted to start my vlogs off with different montages. And even though I didn't always have the time to make like a super cool one, there were a few that I did particularly enjoy. And I figured we could go back and take a look at those to start off the movie. Back. What's up, ladies? Swoosh your house, baby. What the Cause... fuck is Eli? <laughs> Bitch, who is Eli? Who is Eli? Bitch, you not. Bitch, get out. Who is Eli? I'm Mr. Body Catcher, Slaughter Gang Soul Snatcher. Ain't no regular F150, this a fucking rapper. Yeah. No capper, street nigga, not a rapper. Chopper hit him and he turned into a booty clapper. Smith and Wesson, a 4L gang reppin'. We done baptized more niggas than the damn reverend. Kappa Alpha, me and my gang, we do all the steppin'. Who you checkin'? It's FN, shoot East or West End. Listen, dental school, don't do it. Woke up feeling like a million bucks. Took a shower after I'm done getting sucked. Too much drip, I think we gotta fix the sink. Never know what slimy might just pull up in the mink. These stones got clarity, they twinkle and they twink. And they cost a little more than what you think. Got a XO piece and it's all glass. Got my bitch a condo in a G class. Am I in your vlog? Oh my god, I'm excited. Yeah, that nav one. <laughs> I really like that nav one. Like, I like the song and just how it flowed with the intro. I got a few people on there that like just having to say the right stuff at the right time. And that was definitely one of my favorite montages that I did this year. Sadly, once I monetized my channel, I wasn't able to use that kind of music anymore without having to demonetize the video. And, you know, no one wants to see all their hard work go without pay if they're able to get paid for it. So, yeah. Anyway, 
let's move on. So going into D2, I was super excited for the year. I was like, okay, it's time to start getting to the lab more. You know, we're thinking more about dentistry now, less classes or less didactics and more labs. And I feel like a lot of my classmates thought the same. So let's see what they had to say when I asked them. Okay, I'm Hallie, a second year, and what else should I say? I'm from uh, Connecticut, yeah. and... What do you like the most about... Okay, what are you looking forward to the most about second year? Doing, like, more dentistry. Like, last year was all science, and that was good and really hard. But I feel like now we're going to be doing more of, like, why we're here, like, what we came for. Mm -hmm and like learning more dental skills, so that'll be cool. All right, how are you guys feeling about the first day of second year, or the good. first lecture of second year? Good, good. Quick day, so yeah. we'll get it over, which is nice. What's, what are you guys looking forward to the most about this year? Being in SLC every day, that's gonna be very Thanks. nice. Yeah. Yeah, get more hands-on experience, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, as you guys can see, we were all pretty eager to get started with D2. However, it kind of ended up being like more classes, more labs. And when I say more labs, I mean like a lot of labs. We spent a lot of time in the lab. No, the vlog is gonna be popping. It's gonna be popping. It's gonna be Sim Lab. It's gonna be Endo. Remo. Operative. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> So, you know, despite what I say, like, honestly, I feel like all the time we spent in the lab second year didn't go to waste. By the end of the year, I definitely felt more competent in my knowledge and my skill set in dentistry. And I definitely felt more ready to start seeing patients during the third year. So shout out to all the labs we had this year and all the extra practice we put in to make sure we were good for those labs. So let's talk about some of the good stuff that happened this year outside of school. Um, number one. For those who don't know, I decided to sell my car before my D2 year, and um, I had to start looking for new places to go that I used to drive to, such as the gym, barbershop, etc. So first things first, probably one of the best things that happened all year, I found a new gym. And this gym was like everything I was looking for. I used to go to LA Fitness, it was probably like a 30 minute drive away, and even worse with traffic. This gym was uh, more of a private gym vibe like a lot of more experienced weightlifters which i really liked it was closer like i could walk to it so i didn't have to worry about rush hour anymore or anything like that 
and it wasn't expensive. They had a student discount as well, and I only paid $45 a month for it. So really can't be beaten. And they're expanding now, so the gym is going to get even better. So yeah, I also finally found a stable barber. I really didn't find one my first year and since I had my car, I would go home more often and I really would sometimes just wait until I was going home to get a haircut. Now I found a barber that I can access easily through the commuter rail, meaning I don't have to drive or wait in traffic, which is great. And also like me and him have developed a really good relationship. He talks to me about school, YouTube. Haircuts have basically become like therapy sessions almost. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like down the way. Like, 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 okay. So another great thing about the first semester of D2 year was when my birthday came around. Uh, it was a lot of my first friend's chance to visit Boston and it definitely helped solve some of the homesickness that I was feeling, knowing that D2 was a super long year. A lot of my line brothers and my close friends from home took a trip to Boston and helped me celebrate my birthday. I can't lie, the weekend was full of love. I was so happy and I'm gonna try to find some clips to put in here for y'all if they're appropriate enough. Let's not get too far off topic here. Let's get back to talking about school and YouTube. So around Halloween, I decided to post a video where I wore a costume to school. I really just wanted to do something a little different for the channel, help keep you guys engaged, but it was actually a pretty good vlog. Me and my endodontic professor ended up having a pretty good discussion. We kind of just relayed on a personal level. He was asking me about my YouTube. We talked about shoes and stuff. And Endo was actually like one of my favorite labs of first semester. And it kind of went into second semester too, but uh, the professor for Endo is great at our school. Um, I really enjoyed him teaching and his teaching style. Um, but let's take a little bit of a look at the Halloween vlog that I posted. Let me show Kofi. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Yeah. You think these will fit with my with, with my uh, mask? <laughs> Holy shit. Maybe you should sit like up so he sees you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show Kofi. Oh my god. This is hilarious. Alright, so I think we talked enough about first semester. Let's go ahead and move on to second semester. So second semester was a super long semester. At my school, we went from January 2nd to July 7th with no spring break. It definitely had a lot going on during that semester, so we're gonna talk about it. 
Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the residency series. I started the residency series like late in the first semester, but it really started to develop in the second semester. And I love the opportunity that I had to get the dental students that support my channel involved in uh, the channel and s some type of content that they could watch without, you know, just supporting me, but something that's actually helpful to them. Um, and, you know, I just came back from the SNDA conference and there were actually a lot of dental students there that were like, oh, I saw your YouTube channel because I was looking for a blank specialty and I got in touch with so-and-so from the channel. Or I, you know, something I didn't mention, but I did a day in the life of a dentist in St. Thomas and someone came up to me at the SNDA conference talking about how they might want to work in the Virgin Islands when they graduate. They're an NHSC scholar and they actually reached out to the dentist, Dr. Richard Long, and got in touch with him and, you know, was able to make a network that way. So I think like all the collabs that I did were definitely like very, very beneficial for the channel and the people that watch the channel. Um, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Dr. Long for doing the Dentist in St. Thomas video. That wasn't part of the residency series, but that deserves a shout out in itself. Um, for the residency series, I wanted to shout out Dr. Edmund Nwukwe, Dr. Christina Light, Dr. Alicia Briscoe, Dr. Eris Davis, Dr. Bradley Iwe, Dr. Brianna Chang, and Dr. Dan Botang. Um, all of those dental residents helped me put together that residency series, and I you know, truly couldn't have done it without them because I'm not a resident and I can't show you guys what that looks like. But let's roll some clips from the residency series just so you guys can see a little bit of what the videos are like. Today is surgery day. This is the uh, pre-preparation before the patient comes. It's gonna be a lovely day. Stay tuned. I mean, it, like, I wouldn't mind buying some new boots. Like, boots should fit well. Um, so, I don't know. Make so, it's almost 8 a.m., and I just got to the hospital for my. Uh, wound and hyperbaric oxygen medicine elective. So today is actually my last day of this two week rotation and it's been super chill. And I'm just going to grab my morning chai. Not least, we have our third year resident, Jeremy Doc, who can tell us a little bit about what Hello. this residency has to, have to offer. It's a very serious residency, clearly here. Uh, but we like to have our fun, but also take things serious and trade patients well. But things have been good. Um, I'm five months away from mm -hmm. kind of going to the real world and right. getting out of school. Um, what have you done today? Today, it's a pretty easy day. Um, we have just regular patients. Actually, we got really lucky today. Normally, we have seminar. We go over patients and stuff from 8 to 9. Mm -hmm. But uh, today, we just started at 9 o'clock and saw just a morning full of patients, just normal adjustments. Very good. And then, what have you learned over the past three years? Like, what kind of things have you done? Just to tell the people. Sure. So, I love this residency because we do so many different things um, and get a lot of different techniques from a lot of our different faculties. So, you know, a lot of times we're putting uh, mini implants or TADs in patients. We're doing 
um, class two, class three bike correctors with functional appliances, and I've had a ton of surgery cases, which is a great experience. Um, and so you name it, we're trying all the new things here. <laughs> right. And then where are you heading in five months? Back to uh, hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio, working for my childhood orthodontist. So that'll be life comes full circle, really. When, right. When you you do that all right love it so that's the third year and we'll keep it going thanks I guess we're all right so next let's talk about the article so you might be able to see it if i move back it's on the wall right here my school did an article on me and dolly shout out to dolly she's actually the one that um suggested my name for the article the school decided to do an article on dolly and i on social media uh dolly does TikTok and she posts a lot of dental stuff on her instagram and you know me, I do YouTube. <laughs> so, you know, I've been trying to get Dolly back on YouTube, but she 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 doesn't really want to do it. Um, but anyway, the school decided to do an article on Dolly and I, and they published it on their social media and all that stuff. And they actually ended up putting us in the Spring Impressions magazine, which is like the alumni magazine. I have copies over there, but I would just be showing you the same thing. That's right here. Um, and yeah, it was a great opportunity to, you know, speak a little bit about my channel and like why I started it and where I want to go with it. Also, it just gave me another chance to get my channel and my name out there. So I'm definitely appreciative of my school for doing that article. And I'm definitely appreciative of Dolly for submitting my name for that. Next thing I want to talk about the April Fool's video. So let me just explain a little bit. Um, because I explained it a little bit in the video, but I don't think some people watched that far. I felt like I slacked on YouTube in March. I didn't upload my first YouTube video until March 10th or 11th. And I told myself I would do better in April, so I would upload a video on the first day of April. Now, what's the first day of April? April Fools. I really wasn't even thinking of it when I said I was gonna be more consistent, but I was like, you know what? Let's do an April Fools video. So, you know, the unfortunate reality of life and human nature is people like to see shocking news. Some people like to see people fail. Some people like to be nosy or whatever it, it may be. I used to tell my friends like when I joked about it, you know how they say like there's three argu arguments to appeal to ethos, pathos, logos, you know, like appeal to ethics, appeal to emotion, appeal to uh, like the mentality i don't know something like that I, I used to joke and say i'm about to make up a fourth one called nozos just to appeal to people's nosiness so i was like let me make an april fool's joke video where i say i'm about to drop out of dental school and i knew that it would you know get a little bit of buzz because like i said people want to be nosy people want to see people fail but like people didn't people didn't realize it was april fools and i mean my acting was horrible but People were really falling for it. So my phone was blowing up all day and like the video got like literally a thousand views in 24 hours. I think it has like 75 comments on it. <laughs> like I'll post the engagement so y'all can see. But that was crazy. Um, but you know, what I did was I put a vlog after I was done making the joke. That way people had something to actually watch if they stayed. But uh, yeah, people didn't like that joke too much. So I actually had some opportunities to do some cool things in real life to help boost my channel as well during the second semester. I did some kind of like speech to the OHS students at my school, which is a master's program that's kind of linked to the dental school in a way. It doesn't guarantee acceptance or anything, but you have a good chance of getting into the dental school if you do the program. They asked me to come in and speak about how I manage my time so well and how I'm able to balance dental school with a whole bunch of other things. It was my first real like public speaking, public engagement opportunity, but I mean, it was kind of cool. I could definitely get better at it, but it was a nice, you know, first time to do it. So here's a little bit from that. I'm dog walking. Dog walking, okay. So it's not, uh, like a hobby that pays. Yeah. Jim. Jim, let's go. My number one go-to. And of course, like, it's really hard to always stick to your plan that you put out, especially like if you plan everything out on Sunday, things change by Tuesday. Another cool kind of unique opportunity I got this year 
was my post bag program decided to feature me and my YouTube channel on the alumni success page. And I think this is big, this is huge, honestly, because it puts my channel directly in front of an audience that needs it. Part of the reason I applied to my post bag program is because I was able to go to the alumni success page and directly see what schools their alumni were at now and also see select alumni and their you know success stories etc so i think it's super important that anyone that goes to the g squared website and wants to see okay where are their alumni at now they can scroll down and see a picture of me and my scrubs in front of the goldman school of dental medicine and right next to it is a link to my youtube video about how i got into dental school with a low gpa so that's like a huge opportunity and I'm very thankful for George Square for reaching out to me to want to do that. Um, honestly, this YouTube channel has bought me so many opportunities to network and get my name out there that like I really could have never imagined. When I, when I made my YouTube channel, I, you know, I didn't even really know what the perception of it would be by the public. But coming back from the SNDA conference, talking to people in real life, were insane like there's this dentist that came up to me and she said my daughter and i just watched your video last night i, I obviously i i would have no idea but uh she said her name was dr Rowe. she's from chicago illinois i believe that's what she said and um that was just crazy to to, to hear and um not too much later uh, a dental student had came up to me and she said my mom loves your videos and I go oh I, I go oh your mom's here I just met your mom thinking it was the doc the dentist that just came up to me and she's like no <laughs> I'm like wait what she's like no I mean like my mom found your channel when I was applying to dental school just because she was nervous about you know like the application process and stuff and now she still watches all of your YouTube videos. So I want to give a shout out to Frederica Dennis. If you watch this far into the video, I meant to give you a shout out at the beginning of the video, but if you watch this far into the video, I met your daughter <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't, I, I just, I love it. Like, I love it. I love to hear it. You never, you really never know who's watching, but like I have someone out there that just, wants to see me be successful and you know she may have came to the channel for a reason you know she was looking to help her daughter wherever it might be but like you know she came and she stayed because you know just like she wants her daughter to graduate she wants me to graduate too so i really really appreciate that and you know i'm always willing to take advantage of any opportunity that my channel gets or that i get to put my channel's name out there because I know that there's people out there that need it and I know that there's a purpose behind me making these videos and there are people that directly benefit from it. I saw that firsthand being at the SNDA conference and like having people from USNDA there but also like other dental students. Now that I'm entering my third year, you know, there's more and more dental students that are a year or two years younger than me that did watch me when they were pre-dent, you know, and it's just like it's crazy like it's crazy to just meet people like that man it's it definitely you know gave me some added motivation to keep going so another opportunity i got to really boost my channel was with the fadletic scrubs partnership so i gotta dedicate this whole segment of the white coat movie to kanisha honestly because kanisha is the one that kind of got me the the partnership honestly if y'all haven't seen Kanisha on the previous videos, she is literally like the reason I applied to Boston University. She is the reason I attend Boston University. She also, you know, she's she's helped me out with videos before. She's helped me out with giveaways before. Kanisha does so much to help me and honestly never asks for anything in return and like does it out of the kindness of her heart. So like I, I can't even begin to express how thankful I am for Kanisha. But aside from that, 
um, Kanisha is a, a solid core instructor in Boston and she's a rev cycle instructor in Boston. So she she's really into the fitness community out here. That's her thing. She ran track in college um, and she meets a lot of people and, you know, gets a lot of opportunities from it. So I think the person from Fabletics and Fabletics, you know, Fabletics, Fabletics Scrub, same thing, right? They reached out to Kanisha because, you know, they wanted her to be a partner for both. And, you know, they, she, you know, put my name out there because I'm, you know, if you follow my channel, follow my Instagram, you know, I'm a pretty active person. But also because of, you know, my presence on social media, she was like, you know, you should consider this guy as well. And, you know, same thing with Dolly, you know, having friends like that, that put your name into rooms where you aren't, where you aren't even present means a lot and you know both Kanisha and Dolly did that for me this year and I can't express how thankful I am for, uh, for both of them for that um but anyway uh Fabletics reached out to me for uh becoming a Fabletics partner uh kind of posting and modeling their clothes and stuff like that and uh I, I would say my my relationship with Fabletics is developing a lot um they post me on their page uh, they use me for their ads like it's really crazy just but you know that's another chance that I get to get my name out there to an audience that needs it get my channel out there to an audience that needs it so it's actually really crazy like I was going through my earlier vlogs this year and I saw a clip where Kanisha literally says like like somebody sponsored Eli like we were talking about the school scrubs and she says somebody sponsored Eli so it's crazy that she turned out to be the one that orchestrates all that, but I wanted to put that clip in here so we could all take a look at it, man. It's just crazy how life works. This is my seat. What? Hey. No one's um answering me. <laughs> Did you email them? Oh, I'm looking at them. Why can't they call me? Well, we got a whole dentist and solid core instructor. And soon-to-be revved-up instructor, too. I literally look full-on blonde right now. Like, what's going on? I'm dead. I told you. No, it's the lighting. If you go like this, you might hear. They probably going to rip. They need somebody to sponsor Eli. Because these scrubs, they not here. They going in the garbage. So there were also a few things that I accomplished professionally that I wanted to mention that happened, you know, during the second semester. Number one, the article that I was working on, well, the research I was working on while I was at NIH, if you've watched some of my other videos, you might be familiar with the fact that after I graduated college, I worked at NIH for a year and a half. Um, and during the second semester of the second year of dental school, my research from then got published. So I now have a research publication uh, and you know that opens up a lot of opportunities for me uh, when it comes to specializing or getting advanced degrees in dentistry and things like that. Also one of probably the most important thing that happened all year is that I started the Student Dr. Eli Pre-Dental Scholarship. I used to talk about you know where I wanted to take this channel and what my goal with this channel was um, but instead of me telling you let me just show you an old clip where I actually mentioned it in a video probably two years ago. The cost of applying and attending dental school is one of the major barriers that are holding people back, especially minorities, underrepresented people that look like me. And so, you know, um, when I can, when I finally reach my goal to monetize my channel, I still plan to give back because like this youtube stuff is fun for me like i like making videos i like editing videos i may not always have the time or always feel like doing it but it's something that i enjoy so the money is just an added bonus but what i plan to do is once i'm able to monetize my channel i'm gonna start first a pre-dental scholarship because obviously I don't have enough money to pay for someone schooling, but if I could do like a $500, $1,000. So, you know, the goal was always to use the money that I make from YouTube and reinvest it into my community. You know, whether that be investing into my channel so I can make the videos better, such as 
hiring videographers, hiring an editor or whatever, when, you know, when I get around to making that much, but right now I definitely don't. Um, by the way, while I have the time to mention it, let me mention it right now. Let's make a quick intermission because I have something to speak on. I was recently notified about an email being sent out to other dental YouTube people. Someone said, I'm a, you know, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. All right. Because we're going to touch on this before I continue with the movie. This guy emailed a, uh, a colleague of mine, someone I'm familiar, someone I'm familiar with, he told them, I'm a video editor. I specialize in the dental health area. These are some of the channels whose videos I edit currently list my name and other two other people. Now, let me say this. I'm flattered. I'm flattered because my work is good enough that someone who claims to be a professional editor wants to claim my work. I'm flattered at that. And honestly, I could care less if they're telling other people they edit my videos because I know the truth. However, one thing I do take pride in is how much work I put into this channel while being a full-time dental student. And part of that hard work is how much time I spend editing my own videos. I edit 100% of my own videos. No video on my channel has ever been edited by anybody else except for me. Point blank period. The only work that I've had help with on my channel is some of my thumbnails. That's not video editing, that's photo editing. And I don't even think those were the same people because the names aren't the same. And I used a specific person. So if you're someone that watches my channel and you happen to be a dental influencer, YouTube, whatever, please, if you get an email from this, this guy right here, don't believe him because no one edits my videos except for me and that's a fact and y'all have seen me edit videos on other YouTube videos so please know anyway I would like to use all the money from the channel to reinvest into the community and that's what I've been doing when I get money from the channel I usually use it to pay for something that would make my channel better but the goal was always to start a, a scholarship with however much money I was making so I tried to pay for one dental school scholarship this year, but I have friends who are generous and helped me make enough. Well, they donated so that I can make it five scholarships. So there were five winners for the first student Dr. Eli pre-dental scholarship. And I just want to give a shout out to those five winners again in this video, because, you know, I see potential in you all and I can't wait to see, you know, the first five recipients that all got into dental school like that. Be that would be crazy, but shout out to the five winners of the first student Dr. Eli pre-dental scholarship, Alana Perkins, Christine Khalil, Hannah Lee, Isaiah Lewis, and Peyton Ralph. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out so you know how special it is to me that I was able to help five people and I can't wait to see all the great things that you guys do and you know, I'm wishing you the best this cycle. Man, I had to take a water break. My damn voice going out. <coughs> Yeah, so after the scholarship was announced, I started my Waiting for the White Coat series. Um, there were, I think I ended up doing like 12 episodes. I did a, a bonus episode. Um, and during the time that I started this series, my channel was growing a lot. I didn't really realize it until I was almost done the series, but I was getting like around 200 subscribers per month. And you know, word was spreading. So. I was very excited about the, you know, the direction the channel was heading in and I know that you all were enjoying the series and uh, honestly, I would post some clips in here, but it's so recent that you guys don't really need to see the clips because you've probably seen at least one video if you came to watch the movie. And if you haven't, just go check it out, man. You know, you got time. So, you know, now that we talked about everything that happened leading up to the White Coat ceremony, let's get into White Coat Weekend and the White Coat movie. <laughs> so, 
I'm gonna do this all from memory, but please keep in mind White Coat Weekend was like two weeks ago at this point. Um, first things first, I grabbed me a new tan suit. Like I really wanted a tan suit to wear for my White Coat Ceremony. I felt like it would be hot because it's July 7th. And I feel I felt like it would look well with, you know, the white coat on top of it. So, you know, I got my classmate Iman to take some fire pictures. Iman is the same photographer that does my Fabletic shoots. Um, you know, he's just really good at taking photos. And I'm always willing to give him a shout out because if you're in Boston, you should book him as well. Um, and, you know, I definitely pay him because he deserves to be paid. And... Me and Iman kind of have a good relationship with where I can get him to do photo shoots for me, but all the pictures he takes blows up on my Instagram. So we did a little photo shoot for the white coat ceremony before the white coat ceremony actually happened and the pictures turned out great, but we could take a look at some of the behind the scenes footage from the photo shoot for, for sure. Portrait. Mm -hmm. Portrait and then I, I want one landscape for you too, I'm now. Yeah. But I wanted to do like do the whole thing about my jacket. Well I uh I don't know, do some dentisty looking stuff. Do you think I should take some in the bay with the coat on or no? Yeah, why not? So then the white coat ceremony happened. Friday, July 7th, 2023, I received my white coat. The ceremony was great. It was nice to have like my family there and a lot of my close friends there. Um, I just want to roll some clips from that day and just show you guys like how much fun we had throughout the day and I don't even really have to do much talking. I'm just gonna walk away from the camera and let's just watch some of White Coat Ceremony Day. Man, y'all know what today is, man. White Coat Ceremony, you feel me? Look, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to put my suit on, but hold on. I'm gonna show y'all what y'all really wanna see, hold on. Yes, sir. You know, we got the school pin. Oh wait, that's the school pin. Now I gotta put my stuff on it, dig. But yeah, um, I'm getting ready to head out, go to the white coat ceremony, meet up with my classmates, and yeah, it's time. I, I don't even have a lot of time for an intro, but we, we bring y'all with me. Don't worry, everything on. And I need to call my Uber. Uber black today, you feel me? I'm dead. Hello. Well, first guest of the day. <laughs> Hi. Left her white coat upstairs. I got it though. I don't want that. Yeah, I just put mine back there. Oh. <sighs> when I walk on my heel, this thing slip. God bless. Oh my goodness. Go. What time is it? Let's see what time is it. We're going to get there. We're going to get there just in time. Hmm? We're going to get there just in time. Yeah. Welcome to the beginning of our white coat ceremony. We're about to be lit. Yeah. Period. Oh my Look God. at this guy. White coat vlog countdown is over. I'm, I'm, like a woman. I'm, I'm not gonna finish the sentence. Que lo que mi gente. Fifty percent dentist. Fifty percent dentist. What's it for you? I know. What the hell? Yeah. Wait, this is like dangerous because I'm carrying this thing. Look, 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 look in here. Eli, I like the chair. Bye, guys. Look at that. The cream is ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halfway a dentist. Ready to see your first patient. In the last episode, you said. My is still the same. Okay. My 
it's okay. interesting and first patient is still kind of nervous, kind of excited, but at least we got our white coat today. Mm -hmm. We all look super cute. Yep. And I'm excited to see you. People it. haven't seen you since. So how are you feeling? I'm absolutely stoked. It's been a long two years, I don't know. Oh yeah, we've been in the trenches for two years. We're finally the SLC Simulation Learning Center. And it's about to get worse. <laughs> but you know, they, they decided they would give us this little you know, have to you <laughs> yeah, my hands gonna be like a little celebration. Right, Make your hands shake before you in the clinic. What is your, What are you looking forward to the most about being in clinic? I'm looking forward to talking to the patients the most. I, yeah. think, I think it'll be a different. Thing. Same with me, um, helping the patients out, especially yeah. a lot of patients in clinic are, I guess, in desperate need of uh, help for their dental care issues, and being in that position is just amazing. Yeah. Pull some gentlemen right here. That's that's all we got. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're gonna miss the lineup. That's it. Hey, welcome to the Eli Show. We're no, here. Be we natural. Bicker stars. like siblings, like y'all always do. <laughs> he has never said that to me before. <laughs> he has never said that. It's like almost a year ago we were beefing. Also, wait. Okay, yeah. First of all, one year let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think let this me, is for. Here we go. First of all. Um, as you all have seen, Sierra, and all of okay, hold on. Here we go. As you guys have seen, Sierra, and all of the vlogs it is now. I don't know why it's only focusing on one face. Hunched over in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'll watch her videos. I'm like. Looking like a gremlin <laughs> in the back. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have major back problems oh my God. in a couple years. Well, we finally made it to the white coat ceremony. What are you looking forward to the most about seeing real patients? I think just having a relationship with them and like an interaction. I think that's really fun and special, and you can make a difference in someone's experience mm -hmm. and the relationship with the dentistry and taking care of their oral health. I feel like it's just an inner. <laughs> Well, that's why a lot of us want to be dentists to begin with. So we're finally able to start feeling that gratitude of like yeah. helping someone. You know? you? Same thing, I would yeah. say. Um, definitely, just like the the relationship I can develop with my patients. You know, like I feel like we are more ready than we think as far as like skills wise. But it's it's definitely going to be new, like interacting with people and like them putting that trust into you to like take care of them. And I'm just, yeah, that's, that's I'm excited scary. to just like, you know, have someone have that trust in me and feel that kind of personal relationship with me and feel like I can help them. And, and I'm looking forward to helping them. I think the relationship you have with your patient is probably one of the most important things. Yeah. Like your skills, obviously, are important. Once again, <laughs> continuing the tradition of scheduling a home game at Fenway Park. I guess you could take in a game. But as long as everyone remembers that the main event in the city of Boston is this weekend's white coat ceremony at Boston University. Yeah. Students, today marks the midpoint of your journey through dental education. Andreina Concha Rachel Adams, Toyan Adipode.
Yeah. Hey, hey, look, shout out. Yeah. Yeah. We, we still live? Oh, shit. Yeah, we still live. Hey, look, look, look. Shout out my brother Eli, yo. White coat ceremony. Student doctor, you did. Yes, sir. And we got another special guest in the building. No words. You know the vibe? That's it. You got it. Oh, yeah, my bad. Hey, no words. My bad, bro. Uh, Damn. <laughs> you know what it is. We yeah. have my boy Eli. DDS, right? DMD. DMD. Delete that. Just delete that. Yeah, we, Just. You know what I'm all right, all right let, me, let me do it again. All right, so now that y'all got to see what a beautiful weekend it was, well, what a beautiful ceremony it was, we can get into the fun stuff that happened over the weekend too. You know, like I said, my friends were here. Um, we went out Friday night. We had a party on Saturday. Um, and it was great, you know, just doing that stuff was amazing. You, but what did you say before that? Oh, uh, go ahead. All right, so it is day two of the White Coat Weekend. It is Saturday, July 8th. Yesterday, you know, we had the White Coat Ceremony. Um, wow, it's warm. It is warm. It's hot. Um, but yeah, yesterday we had the White Coat Ceremony. Great time. Um, so happy for like myself and my classmates. Happy to see my friends and family. It was really just a great time. Um, so we went to, you know, we had the white coat ceremony, we had the reception following, um, ceremony, reception, dinner after that with my family and close friends, and then at nighttime we went to the club, we went to Hugh, that was a great time. It's like my first time going out with like my family and my sister, well like my cousin and my sister, like you know. The family that I was always like kind of too young to hang around until now. So that was fun. I had a great time yesterday. Today, we're having a white coat party. Me, Kofi, and Kanisha are having a joint party. Um, and the weather is looking beautiful. Hopefully, it stays that way. I truly think today will be epic. More of my friends are here today from out of town. It's insane. Like, this weekend is crazy. Um, so. You know, we can have a great time today. That's all I have to say. Definitely bringing the camera. Definitely vlogging. Continuing the White Coat movie to the best of my ability. Bringing y'all with me. Um, so I hope y'all enjoying so far. I've been recording a lot, but I got to find a way to make the clips all go together because I haven't really been like vlogging. More so just like recording clips of stuff. So... Yeah, let's try to get some more stuff today. Maybe I'll bring my, mm, I don't think I'll bring my tripod. I'm not sure yet though. I don't think I'll bring my tripod. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna have a grand time today. It's gonna be great. I was only gonna put a last year. Okay, you ready? But you don't have it. It's a video. Talk. Yeah, I'm ready. Yes, sir.
all the drippin' on me, I'm a fiend I love my Uncle E, I can beat it Love my Uncle E, cause I can beat it Blowin' all this money cause it's free Scammin' in Miami by the beach Tellin' all your homies that ain't Z Boy, I heard you ready for a cheesecake This is peach, gotta keep a car in my reach You can call him Mari, I'm my fiend, babe Why you puttin' forges on the cheese? I keep spillin' coffee on my jeans I don't like you talkin', I'm gonna squeeze, babe, babe, babe So it was a great weekend. After that, you know, I celebrated my break. I had a two week break that I just got off of and now I'm finally filming a white coat movie. But you know, I spent the rest of my time resting, ended up going to the SNDA conference, doing some activities, you know, just enjoying my break for what it was. <clears throat> and you know, I'm back at, back at school, back to filming my YouTube videos, even though I meant to film this over break, but things just got in the way that I couldn't control. Um, and you know, I also went to the SNDA conference on Wednesday, so my time was limited, but it was a great D2 year. It was a great white coat weekend. And I just wanted to recap it with you guys. Um, honestly, I'm excited for what's to come in the next two years of dental school before I graduate. Seeing patients, all that stuff, you know, starting more series on the YouTube channel, getting more opportunities to do the things I've been doing in the past, but in a greater capacity. And overall, you know, helping people who need it or you know who just need to see someone like me on YouTube so two years down two years ago we're excited we're gonna you know we're gonna make it look as good as we made the first two years look and um, you know thanks for watching and being a part of my journey my community on YouTube and um, you know just as thankful as I was to everyone in the video <clears throat> As thankful as I am to everyone who I met at the SNDA conference who mentioned that they saw me or anyone that watches videos, supports in any kind of way, uh, I thank you truly. You help make all of this stuff possible. I may be the one making the videos, but everyone that watches is a part of the the bigger goal, the overall goal. Like I said, I wasn't able to do the scholarship without you all watching and generating revenue from the videos. You all support is 
so important and maybe a lot more important than you may realize. But without you all support, watching, sharing the channel, telling people about me, coming up to me and just giving me a random compliment that keeps me going. It truly is what keeps the channel going. So I want to just thank everyone that watches the videos that watched one video before or anything. <clears throat> My voice is going. I just want to say thank you. That's really all I can do is thank you. So that's all. Thanks for watching the white coat movie and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Come on, Alyssa. So you ready for your cameo? For my what? Your cameo. Oh my god! See, I told you my fans missed me. How do I do? I put this on like this? By the way, I gotta look professional. What do you mean? Oh, scary! You want me in the video? They see you every time. What are we doing? I don't know. Oh, is that a yeah. It is. Feel free. Wait, can I hear? Is it recording right now? Oh god. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Say welcome back. Well, yeah, welcome back. D two, you know, D two, we're out here. Um. Why do I choose? It's giving TMJ disorder. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just Bruh. moving my mouth so much. <laughs> oh wait, no, I need my bag. I need my bag. I need my bag.